we first see a vehicle stopped by a residence. The people might have just arrived home or preparing to go somewhere. Their plans were about to be altered by an unexpected encounter right in front of their home in broad daylight. Suddenly a vehicle arrived and men came out holding firearms. This was now a robbery right in front of their home. In South Africa, certain cars are highly sought after by these culprits, and the VW Polo is among the very top on that list. This particular car was a VW Golf 8. The lady watched in horror as her vehicle sped off the scene. Fortunately, she was left physically unharmed there. This incident happened on Dunvegan Road Hillary in the KwaZulu Natal province of South Africa. We can see how she could hardly move and could not process what had just happened in just these few seconds. The culprits managed to escape the scene. On the next clip, we first see a group of men running towards an area. They suddenly stopped after noticing their intended target. The man was oblivious to the devious plan about to be executed here. The second culprit went straight for the neck here as he made sure there was no escape for the victim. This is the danger in this areas and people are always advised to be on the lookout for suspicious movement or potential culprits around. These culprits take every chance they get and are not shy away from executing these foul actions in broad daylight right in front of the public. This particular gang was said to be known to operate in this central business area in Polokwane. The man had no chance here as he was being attacked from all angles. This is a case where a vehicle had been targeted through signal jamming. The owner had parked the vehicle at this parking lot, but they had no idea the vehicle had been targeted by these culprits. The culprits waited for a while as they watched the unsuspecting victims inside the vehicle. We then see them walking away after locking the vehicle doors, but the culprits parked a few yards away from their vehicle inside a silver VW had already tempered with the signal. This is why it's important to invest in additional security measures mostly when owning these high-valued and sought-after vehicles. Always make sure your vehicle is locked. You should not just press your vehicle alarm and walk away. Test whether your vehicle doors are locked after you have activated the alarm. Also be vigilant when you park and watch out for suspicious individuals lingering around the parking area. Listen for the sound when you lock and activate your alarm. Watch whether your car lights flash to indicate it is locked. These tips can go a long way to counter and lessen these clowns' actions. The culprits went on to enter the vehicle and drove away with the car. This is another scene where a vehicle is targeted. We first see a vehicle driving onto a parking spot right in front of the store the lady was about to enter. She then exits the vehicle and went around, but she notices something off about her car. She's smart. The remote locking system seemed to be malfunctioning there. This should have been a red flag for her right then, and then, but most people might not suspect these things in most cases, and just think it might be a malfunction. She had no idea what was about to happen in a few seconds, right behind her back. The doors were clearly not locking, and the vehicle's signal had been intercepted remotely. It's important to educate people about these things mostly in areas with high rates of hijacks and car thefts. She finally left the scene, but right next to her the culprit was watching her every move.
Once she was out of the picture, the man went on to open the vehicle and drove off the scene. This clown had no jamming tech, so he decided to use the primitive way of breaking in. He broke the window with a sling and went in to peel it off the structure. This particular culprit wanted what was inside the vehicle. An alarm system could have possibly helped the owner in this unfortunate situation. On to the next scene, where people can be seen walking around an area. They had no idea what was coming in a few moments. Culprits had targeted an individual around inside the white car parked near the building. The man inside the vehicle was secured by it, a businessman from Port Elizabeth in South Africa. This area is said to have been his office premises. In most cases, these culprits tend to monitor their targets for weeks before the initial kidnapping. They might also have insider information in other instances with details on how the victim moves and the schedule. They then kidnap these victims and demand ransom payments from the relatives. We then see a vehicle arriving at the scene before culprits exit and start shooting in the air. Ooh. The man was dragged from the vehicle straight into the getaway car. This must have been terrifying for this business owner, as he had no clue what was about to happen. They eventually finished this kidnapping and left the scene. The culprits are said to have demanded a million rand for his release. Three suspects were later arrested by the Hawks in South Africa. The man was freed after possibly paying out the ransom money. On the next clip, we first see a cash and transit truck approaching an area in South Africa. These trucks are always targeted in the nation due to obvious reasons. We then see the culprits inside their getaway vehicle. The armed guards can then be seen loading the bag of cash into the truck. At the same time, several men can be seen approaching the vehicle. These vehicles should have a safety zone with guards on alert. People should not be allowed to come within a few feet without any suspicions being raised. It's astonishing how easy this all looks. These security companies should definitely invest in better strategies and personnel to deal with these situations better. The culprits can be seen rushing towards their getaway. They loaded the cash and escaped the scene. They had so much time, eh? On the final video, the culprits targeted this old man right by his gate. The young lady on the other side had no idea what was happening there. The dogs could sense something was off as they saw faces they didn't recognize. The man was now being dragged out of the vehicle as they tried to hijack the car. The young lady then realized what was happening and she tried to close the gate. The dogs definitely played their part yeah. there, but they were yeah. a bit confused by the commotion. Their first instincts might have been to protect the young girl, first as they followed her inside. Fortunately, the clowns gave up here as they could not handle this anymore. Okay, um, that's my three highlights.
three or four. I think I'm gonna come back to this one as well. But the first thing that we really need to, to deal with here is um, the second video. This video right here. Tell me if uh, I'm the only one who believes that these, these guys followed this guy uh, for a very long time. I mean, it's as if they knew what he has in his pockets or what he was carrying around with him because the way in which they were running towards him as the video starts really really gives i mean a lot of suspicions i mean just watch this the sudden process what had just happened watch in just these few seconds towards him the culprits you managed realize. to escape this look scene. at this on the next clip we first see a group of men running towards an area you see they suddenly stopped after noticing their intended target so they, they targeted him for a very long time and as they noticed that well maybe he was trying to get away or maybe they were losing him then they ran after him so this really is something that you should really look uh, into and should be very very careful whenever you walk around these busy townships and not uh, cities i mean and then you must be careful you must look around and you know if, if you feel like you're being followed get inside a store or something like do something you know just avoid staying on the street for far too long but then yeah it's just unfortunate for this guy right here and then uh, my other highlight uh, has to do with this Ford Ranger right here. I think this lady had a chance to leave. She she had the chance to escape. Uh, she could have listened. She, she could have listened to her gut. I mean, the minute you you see your key malfunctioning, it, it should really be a sign that something is definitely wrong, and uh, that thing is just around your vicinity. So, uh, according to me, she should have just left. And the fact that she left knowing very well that she did not lock her door also say something else like but anyway she was also um left in an unfortunate situation and then yeah circumstances led to her car being taken away from her and then uh last but not least uh not the fortuna <laughs> this is actually funny because as soon as these guys get here i don't know if these guys are the owners of this car or if they do know the owner of this car uh, but somewhere, something tells me that they are not the owners as the front doors were locked and then immediately as these culprits arrived at the scene these guys just went in at the back of the bike and I'm not even sure if those culprits saw these guys getting inside um, in the back of the bike you just watch this the schedule. <laughs> they then kidnap these victims and demand ransom payments from the relatives we then see a vehicle arriving at the them. scene before culprits exit them, and start shooting the in the air and then they just made they just made sure that it was closed and then i'm sure they locked it and <laughs> and to to the most useless dog in africa to the most useless dog in africa or in south africa we call it mogodoi just look at this dog right here look at what the it man did. was dragged from the vehicle straight into the getaway car there by the green atm there's a dog Godoy, the most useless dog we've ever seen did nothing just watch the scene try to get away save his own life this must have been terrifying for this business owner you see he's just trying to save his own life <laughs> as he had no clue what was about to happen oh. And then I think uh, the last video I did say I'm gonna come back to it. Um, these dogs really did their job. Eh? These dogs really saved uh, Umadala in his car. Uh, I mean, according to me, the lady was trying to protect them dogs. Really, I'm, I'm sure she 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 knew that those guys had uh, guns and other weapons which could harm the dog. But the dogs forced themselves, you know, into the situation, and they really really saved the old man and these guys really looked like they didn't even know what they were doing so yeah kudos to these dogs man it's it's good to have such useful dogs not abum gudu but anyway guys uh that's it for me today thank you so much for watching thanks so much for tuning by uh if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to me to hit the, the like button and if you're new to doing venture reborn i really appreciate your time i appreciate your attention please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button whatever post another video you get the notification and you get to watch the video first from Burnt and taking from South Africa, Dream Venture Reborn to the world. I love you all. See you in another blockbuster and amazing video. Ciao. Stay safe.